prepared to not hear anything else except wind. So how much is the total from those? Hey everyone, so uh, thanks for tuning into the video. Um, <laughs> I'm reading off a script, I don't know if you can tell. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into the video and I hope you uh, watch until the end and if you do, subscribe, like, share your thoughts. I'd like to hear what you guys liked about the video, what you didn't. So I'm making this video because um, I applied to Kennesaw State University, got in, but I never visited the campus. Uh, up until orientation day. Um, and orientation day will give you a lot of time to explore and things of that nature, but if you're still in the process of like deciding if you want to go to the school and if you're just curious about how the campus looks like, uh, I will share with you my perspective and what I see on my day-to-day -day activities. I only have three classes today, um, so it's not gonna be that crazy. I'll take you guys around, show you some of my favorite spots, and heck yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Let's go. like that we're uh, we're fucking here uh, so after my 40 minute commute to campus uh first order of business is my first class uh, so I, in case you do or don't know uh, your classes will be completely dependent on what the hell you get to land or what you register for on you know on the day you go sign up for classes for me first class of the day is going to be intro to psych there. Prepare to not hear anything else except wind. I guess this is the part where I talk about how big campus is and the acres and all that jazz, but this is really us going supersonic here. So this is me from the future, guys, just offering in some little narration. We're flying through campus here. That is going to be the main library, but we're going to get to see more of that later. Uh, the cafeteria, which we're also going to come back to. We're running off to first class of the day. Uh, my first class starts at 11 o'clock. Um, this is the social science building where uh, I'm taking my intro to psych course, you know, I'm running. It's also my favorite building because we actually have a Starbucks. Before that, you want to sit down and take a moment of peace. I'd like to take this time to uh, get myself recognized with the course material. Uh, right now I'm finding out that I missed a quiz actually. So, you know, all fun and games. We're all, we're doing great. So this was just me, this is me after discussing some very important topics with my professor. I'm obviously feeling very great about it. Well, that was my first course class of the day. Um, things are moving pretty well, I guess. Um, yes, school is hard. The sixth or seventh week that we've been here at school. And I think today, uh, I'm just now gaining an understanding that uh, this stuff is, this, this is hard. <laughs> um, I should say, keep up with your work if you're gonna go to here. If you're gonna go to school anywhere, and if you wanna go to college, you should probably learn how to keep up with work and be, con be consistent. Another thing I learned is that it's also very important to work to get ahead of your work. Even if it's momentary, even if it's only for a couple of days, to get ahead, you gotta sit down and study.
we're going to take a moment to explore the first floor of the library. Um, this is the Bentley Rare Book Museum. Uh, really interesting stuff. They have books that are, I think, hundreds of years old. And they have a lot of museums around the campus as well. On the second floor of the library, there is just collaborative spaces, rooms you can rent out, computers, everything you could possibly need. And then there is the Smart Center. The Smart Center is not located inside the library, but it's another great resource that I wanted to mention. And it also has the best view, in my opinion, of the entire KSU campus. Uh, Kennesaw Hills, super iconic view. Um, the Smart Center is awesome because there are students that can teach you literally any subject you could possibly want, and they are available, uh, I think, five days out of the week. It's pretty, uh, awesome resource to use. So this is the Carmichael Student Center. And here we have a Moe's Chick-fil-A, um, which is always super packed, um, apart from the Chick-fil-A. There is also a Panda Express. They also got a sushi spot um, where they have pre-made sushi for you. Uh, in these boxes, you just kind of go and pick out which one you want. It's one of my personal favorites. It's not too bad. Now, if you have money to spend, a great place for you to visit is going to be the KSU Bookstore. Not only do they have an Apple store in which you can buy uh, a small selection of laptops, they sell iPads, Apple Pens, AirPods, uh, all kinds of things. They also sell everything that you could possibly need if you're a student. So if you live on campus, this is going to be the kind of spot that you're going to want to go to. If you can't make it to the grocery store, this place has got you covered with snacks, uh, toiletries, toothpaste, uh, body wash. They got clothing, all kinds of KSU merch, book supplies, and a biggest thing, you buy your textbooks here. All right, textbook success. Yeah, let's see. Time to see if we can afford them. Hi there. Yeah. So I was told I was maybe possibly able to rent them. Can I rent this one? You cannot rent either one. Dang. So how much is the total for both? I'm gonna go ask again yeah. and see if she can find me find some news. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm not gonna lie guys, $190 for some books is a little expensive. I won't even buy AirPods, and those are $120. <sighs> After this, we're gonna go visit the gym, which is gonna be spectacular, honestly. And just like that, that's how you spend $170. On textbooks, people, on textbooks. That's about anywhere. So, let's see. different things that you can do in this gym, man. There's weightlifting, basketball courts, there's a whole second fucking floor. And where we're going is somewhere else, actually. There's so much more to see. I mean, there's like high key, hella shit to do in here. But this is where I like to get my warm up.
gym is pretty cool. Apart from the lower level where all the weightlifting equipment is at, there's a second story, second floor, and looks like this. It's super wide open. They got hella treadmills, uh, other equipment that I don't know. I guess this is spill ball. Who knows, man? All kinds of games you can play in here. And I will say it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. The treadmills have big screens, schedules for all kinds of things. You can watch YouTube on them, movies, uh, something you can see from the second floor that I never go to, but I always see is the, the swimming pool. And they do have a swim team here. Uh, Olympic sized pool from what I can tell. And yeah, I'd be down to go for a dip. And then you got this, which is a whole track. I don't think it's the size of an actual track, but still pretty cool to just do your walks. You got your cal calisthenics station, I would say. And this is probably my favorite part of how they uh, incorporated it into the design. At least they have the track going around the rock wall here. And, you, and I've climbed here before. There's two different ones you can try. You can climb the rock wall on these ropes or you can do freehand and fall on those mats down there. And it's, it's a pretty good fucking time. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty impressive stuff, really. I think some of the best money from the school was invested into this. I mean, KSU's got a lot of things covered for a pretty simple school. Indoor, uh, indoor football courts, like soccer, football, uh, badminton, tennis. Uh, like if you didn't play sports before you came here, you're probably gonna wanna pick one up because there's just so many awesome things to do. Honestly, man, I, uh, I come here and I do something new every day. If I came here every day. <laughs> but now it's about that time to get out of here and get ready for the next class, so. Now we're going to maybe piss off some more people and try to get through like the main center and yeah, we're just gonna see how we can get to the, we're gonna see my full route to get to the map of the place. We'll get there in less than 30 seconds. It took like the extra longest fucking way to get to my class, by the way. <sighs> and this is the social science building. Um, there's a lot of cool things that happen here. This is where all the chemistry, science, physics things of the things go down. There's laboratories in this building. I don't have any access to that. I just go to my class. Uh, but if you're into that, this is the building where you leave. It's like the main lobby. Um, and I kind of hang out here till, my, till it's time for my class. So yeah, we're just gonna brush up on what we gotta do and see what assignments I'm late on. <laughs> hey y'all, so after math, uh, I just went down to the cafeteria, got a quick bite to eat, headed back to the car. Um, there's a lot more things to see at the K uh, KSU campus. Um, I by no means went to everything. So it was more of like y'all were just running around with me as I went to go do my, st my stuff at KSU. If you saw anything that was interesting to you and you wanna see more, go ahead and comment. And if there's something that you think I missed or if there's something you want have more questions about, I'm more than happy to go out and explore for y'all. So, you know, stay safe. Yeah. 
subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.